Today I am going to be reviewing the Roma London's new foundation that they came out. It's called Last and Finishing 25 Hours Breathable Foundation. So I got the shade 100 Ivory. This is like the lighter shade. Hope that it matches me. I do have some tan a little bit because I, I am a bit darker. But hopefully it matches. It says this is the it's a medium coverage foundation. So I'm oh, gonna try it out. I also do love the Roma London foundations. I got the blue lid one. This is the grey one. I also really love the the same foundation but with a red lid. I always use the red lid like at the start so when I start doing makeup. Um, I do love the the foundation with the blue lid. This is in on, the shade of this is 010 I like porcelain. This is a bit light on me, so I don't need it right now. But this foundation has a different applicator. So like normal foundations have a pump, and this foundation has a wand. So. It looks like this. It's like a big concealer wand. And I feel like it's not hygienic to use the like the wand on your face all of that because you can't really wash it. But we're gonna try it out and this does remind me of the Clinique foundation that the Clinique has. I don't remember the name of it, but it does remind me of that. So if you wanna see how this foundation performs, keep on watching. Okay, so first I'm going to be using the primer. I'm going to use the MUA Wonder Vanishing Cream Primer that I always use. Okay, so I'm going to apply some foundation on one side of my face and I'm gonna use a sponge to blend it out and on the other one I'm gonna use a brush so I'm gonna do the sponge side first I don't actually know how much I need to put on because it is like really light and like a runny consistency so I don't really know I don't, I don't know if I like this brush because I don't actually know how much foundation I'm using so I don't know if this is enough I'm just gonna do this and then I'm just gonna blend it out with my sponge I guess Okay, so what I'm seeing right now, it looks really, really natural. I don't think this is a medium coverage. I do believe it's a light coverage. It looks really, really like natural and nice. Like it's moving out like all my skin because I have a lot, not a lot, but a little bit of redness on my cheeks. I can't really see it red in so much cheeks. It didn't cover the spot that I have on my forehead though. Um Okay. I don't hate it but I don't know if I like it at the same time. Actually I do. Yeah, I do like it. But the problem is it doesn't cover as much so it looks really natural you can still so it looks like my skin so mm, yeah I do like it okay so I'm gonna apply it with on the other side with a brush okay so I'm gonna be using my Real Techniques expert face brush
Okay, so with the brush and with the sponge, it looks the same. Okay, um, it looks really natural. It looks nice actually. It's not like full or medium coverage at all. So if you want like a full, full coverage or medium on this coverage, that's not the foundation for you. Um, but yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna try and apply a little bit more. It feels really matte as well. I do have oily skin. So it feels really nice. Mm. I do love my Maybelline, what's this called? Maybelline Super Stay Full Coverage Foundation. I do love this one. It feels the same as that one, kind of. Mm. Hmm. I don't really know. Mm. It feels really nice, it looks really nice, it even my skin out. Um, you, you can't see my redness as much, but I feel like if you have a lot of redness and you want to cover that up, like a lot of redness, I mean, this is not going to cover it up. Like, it's just not going to do it. So I'm going to apply one more, one more time, another one and see if it can build it up. I want to cover the spot and see if it actually covers it or doesn't. I do like this little wand actually, it feels really soft. I like it. Okay, so I'm going to just blend it and see if this builds up. Okay, so the second layer, I believe, did give me um, more coverage. I really like this for some reason. I don't really like natural um, finish, like when you can see my skin. Mm. Okay, but I do really like this. So... Okay, this this shade is a bit dark on me. Um, but yeah, I do really like this actually. It looks really nice for some reason. Um, I feel like it's like every every day kind of foundation. I feel like I want some coverage, like a little bit, or like get rid of your a little bit of your redness or something for like college, high school work if you just want like a little bit of coverage this foundation is gonna be perfect for you um but if you want like full coverage foundation this is not gonna be for you so i really like this foundation so i guess i'm gonna do my the rest of my makeup and then go throughout my day and just see i'm not doing nothing i'm probably gonna just edit some videos um and I will have this makeup on for like a couple of hours maybe and see how it goes on but I am gonna give you a small review on my Instagram if you want to see it I probably wear it like for a day I couldn't do it this morning it's like afternoon at the moment so I'm, I will be only be able to like have this foundation on for like a couple of hours and see how it holds on so okay so i finished my makeup um my makeup looks really good at the moment i really like the foundation how it looks like and everything so i'm gonna come back later on in probably like five hours or something and i will tell you what i think about this foundation and then i think it's it's seven o'clock at the moment so it's like 7.30, okay, 7.30, and I'm going to come back soon, 
half-hour hours, that's like 12.30, I think. So I'm going to come back at 12.30, I'm going to do my thing, going to go edit some videos, um, tidy my room, and I'm going to be back, and I will tell you what I think about this foundation. Okay, hi guys, I am back, and it's like 11 o'clock. I just can't bother wearing this makeup anymore. I want to take it off and just go to bed. Um, so I'm going to give you my review now. So... I've been wearing this foundation for four hours, maybe, yeah, four hours, I think. Um, so, I really like this foundation. Um, I did use two layers, obviously. It looks really nice. Um, I do really like it. I do recommend this foundation uh, for people who have just one natural makeup day, like makeup look for their foundation if they don't want like full, full coverage. I do recommend this foundation, I really like the applicator as well, it's really weird but really creative and I really like it, I didn't um, try out the Clinique foundation so I don't know about that one but I really like this, this is only £8 in Superdrug and Boots I believe they have, I don't know if they have now, anyway, um, so this is really affordable, really nice, I really like it. Um, I don't look sweaty and I am, I don't look, I don't look shiny and I am oily, I have oily skin. And my smiley lines are creased a little bit, they're not as bad though, like with some foundations they will crease like a lot. Um, but it looks really good, it hasn't moved, it hasn't smudged or anything. It applied really well so I really like this foundation I do recommend this foundation to everyone and if you want to try it out do so okay so I hope you enjoyed this video give a like if you did and subscribe to my channel and follow me on all my social medias and I will see you in my next video